Hi, my name's Jeremy Pang. I run a uh, Chinese cookery school in London called the School of Wok. What we do is uh, anything from private cookery lessons to corporate events and gastronomic walking tours of Chinatown. What we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to make a few different recipes. Right, I'm going to show you how to make a pork chow mein. I've got here a slab of shoulder steak or pork shoulder steak. We're not going to use all of it, just a small piece. And what you want to do is cut it up nice and thin. Uh, so you need to sort of open it up a little and that way if the pork's cut thinly then you can cook it nice and quickly. So pop those into a little bowl. I'm going to marinate that pork up with classic Chinese marinade. Very simple. Light soy sauce, sesame oil and a pinch of sugar. So just with that layer go from one side, cover it up Sesame oil, exactly the same. Sesame oil you always use in marinades or at the end of a stir fry, never to cook. A pinch of sugar with your clean hand. And then give it a good mix through till all that sauce has been picked up by the pork. I've got here a plate, some washed bean sprouts, and some baby pak choy that's been finely sliced. Um, and that's uh, all you really need. We need. We've got some uh, egg noodles uh, here that have been soaked in hot water for about five minutes and then just dried overnight in the sieve itself. Uh, the drier the better because when you throw it into the, into the pan and make up this chow mein, which is fried noodles in Chinese, um, it will be nice and separate. So, get the wok on. The only thing in terms of flavour or seasoning that we're going to put into this dish is a covering of dark soy sauce and a dash of sesame oil and some finely chopped spring onion at the end and that's it. So it's a very, very quick cook noodle dish that actually in Hong Kong people tend to eat for breakfast. So you want to baste your wok in a bit of oil and we're going to add oil bit by bit, so not too much at the beginning. If there's too much, feel free to take a bit out. Every time you add something new to the wok, you've got to bring it to a smoking hot temperature before you add the next ingredient. So it's smoking hot. The first things first is the pork, because you want to make sure that cooks through. So the pork's going to go in. Give it a good toss and a good stir fry. And the reason for that smoking hot temperature is, is to make sure that that meat doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay. Once it's sort of half cooked, fish it aside and add a little spoon of oil again into your wok. And make sure that that comes to a really good smoking temperature before you add your harder vegetables. So I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to put all of this pak choy in. Just a handful of pak choy, and that's smoking hot. Here goes your pak choy. Stir fry that up. Bring your pork over the top of that, and get it all fried up nicely. And that pak choy has been finely sliced, so it won't take long at all. Literally 30 seconds to a minute or so before you can add the next ingredient. So I'm going to push that again to the side to allow space for my bean sprouts and my noodles. Add a bit of oil to the pan. It's quite quick this cooking, so you've got to be organised and ready to put everything in. Right, so I'm going to bring it to a good smoking point again before I add my bean sprouts. Give me another five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Your pan's got to be really smoking hot for bean sprouts because it only takes sort of 30 seconds to cook up. So your bean sprouts go in, one quick stir, bring the rest of your ingredients over the top, a couple of stir fries, push that aside, I'll say only 30 seconds. The last bit of oil, as I say, bit by bit, so that every part of your stir fry gets the right amount of oil, but you're not really covering it in grease. So your noodles go in, and this is the important part, 
is this movement here is around and around with your spoon and a back and forward with your pan. So back and forward, round and round. And I'm going to bring that stuff over the top, go into the centre of the noodles, go round and round with my spoon and back and forward with my pan. Okay? And that is going to really mix the sauce in when it goes in. So your sauce comes in, dark soy sauce to cover. Alright? And then the round and round and back and forth. And you can really see that colour moving through the noodles now. Won't take much longer than this. So your sesame oil, one dash at the end, one more round and round, back and forward. Spring onion, just the dusting right at the end. And you can see here that the noodles should come out nice and separate and dry, not gooey, not all stuck together. Just a couple of sprigs of spring onion on top, and that's your pork chow mein. <laughs>